right, coming up next, a flyweight matchup between Joseph Benavides and Dustin Ortiz. All right, so we get another look tonight at the Franklin, Tennessee native Dustin Ortiz. A lot of big wins in his career. He's turned back the likes of Ray Borg, Justin Scoggins, Zach Makovsky fairly recently. He's been in there with the elite at 125 pounds. Very hard guy to put away, Joe. We'll see how it goes for the supremely conditioned Dustin Ortiz here tonight. This guy has ridiculously powerful kicks. This is the one thing his opponent needs to absolutely avoid if he hopes to achieve victory in this fight. One of the best fighters on this UFC roster to never realize a UFC championship entered Joseph Benavidez, 25 and four, and a guy who has only lost to all-time greats. This is a Southpaw born in Las Cruces, New Mexico, who can do it all. Joe Jitsu making the walk tonight. Benavidez is extremely athletic, great wrestling base, and very explosive. He's been working with world-class training partners at Team Alpha Male with Uriah Faber, and he's come out of there as a very complete mixed martial artist. And now our tail of the tape for this flyweight tilt. Benavidez is four years his senior. The rest of the numbers are close. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Franklin, Tennessee, Dustin Ortiz. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 26 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Joseph Joby Wakanobi Benavidez. Now when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? You ready? And we are underway. <laughs> Benavidez gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ortiz. Finds his range with the jab. He's going to a different look here, switching southpaw. Oh, how about the output for this fighter here? A lot of good time shots there, and they're all landing. Stuffed it. Stuffed it. Oh! Oh, clipped him with the jab. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Misses the takedown. Now he goes for the single leg. Fast pace here in the early going. Effective punch there by Ortiz. Back to his feet. Change into the southpaw stance now, Joe. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Nice inside leg kick. Joe, that kicking game has been on point tonight. Good kicks. Hard one to the body. Starting to land those kicks to the body. Push kick there to the body. 
Under three minutes to go in round one. Back to the well with that front kick, and it lands again there by Benavidez. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He transitions, now he's got both hooks in. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Tagged him. Wham! The right and the left behind it. Good. Ortiz gets back up again. Orthodox for much of the fight. He's going southpaw here, Joe. There he goes. Now he's teeing off. Two minutes to go in the round. He caught the kick. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Switches back to Southpaw now. There's that nice leg kick. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's gonna have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Gotta get his head off the center line. He's posturing up here. Half guard here. Back to side control. And back up again. Now he's starting to find his groove with the counter strikes. This is his bread and butter to keep his opponent at bay and keep him guessing. And when his opponent over engages, make him pay with a straight right hand, straight left or a jab. Nicely done with the hands there. Benavidez gets tagged by the kick there. He couldn't have liked that too much, Joe. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Really finding the range now. Good series of kicks. Those are all landing, Joe. 30 seconds now to go on the round. Benavidez gets caught by the inside leg. Hard hook. And now they clinch. One underhook. Ortiz gets double underhooks here in the clinch. Normally now he'll try to change levels and go for it. Look at that deep oh, man. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Second round, straight ahead. Here's a perfect head kick. Here we see some beautiful striking and perfect timing on this punch. And here you see excellent technique and a big slam. Amazing highlights from that round. Brittany Palmer doing fine work as usual. All right, here we go with round two. All right, so second round getting underway now. Not a bad first round. Both fighters had their moments. Looked like at times they were just getting warmed up a little bit, perhaps a little bit of a feeling out process over that first minute. What's your thoughts on what we saw there in that first round? That shot blocked by Benavidez. Oh, looks like his leg might be hurt here, Joe. Limping a little bit. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Big shots. They're both landing bombs on each other. Doing an excellent job of mixing up his strikes here. Hit him with that straight left there. Pretty good shot there. Oh, he connects there. Elbow lands for him. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. And he's gonna try to take the back and pull back. 
flattens him out. Ooh, not good. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. That landed. Ortiz gets up and decides to take this fight back to the feet despite having a dominant position on the ground. Spinning back fist is there. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Gotta find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Flipped him with the jab. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And he landed the right hand there. Benavidez gets caught with that punch. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Ortiz. Oh, and he lands another takedown there. He's already landed several in the fight and really doing a great job with these takedowns, not telegraphing his shot. Back to the canvas now here. There, huge block for him. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Straight right hand, no good. Benavidez's eye is starting to swell shut. Whoa! He's definitely rocked. and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Over under now, Joe. Ortiz has worked in that arm. Nice job of pummeling, and he's got oh, the double man. underhooks now. Ortiz gets back up again. And he eats a kick. Really missed with that right hand. Well, you gotta start to change things up here defensively. Again, he gets clipped to the head, and again, he's vulnerable by leaning right into his opponent's range. Leg kick. 45 seconds remain in the round. Posture's up here. 30 seconds to go in round two. He's back up to his feet. Changes his stance. 20 seconds left. These guys are swinging. And Ortiz continuing to stay active. Oh! Oh! oh. Wow! Man, what a round, what a round. Let's take a look at it again here. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Several near fight ending moments in that round. Lots of action. showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh! oh he's hurt! He's, oh, out. he's out! He's out. Big 
roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Yeah, Joe, knockouts don't get much more prettier or much more flush than that. Full force and full extension on the kick, and there was no chance after that, Joe. The fight was really over as soon as that kick made contact. An outstanding highlight for that young fighter here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Great angle here. Ba-boom! So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. We go inside the Ladies octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official the decision. Stop to this contest. At 10 seconds of round number three, declaring the winner by knockout, Dustin Ortiz. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.